We are in Blackpool Design Coach Builders and we have Mike with us and he is going to explain everything that is wrong with Olive. Uh, so Olive has had some tough times. Morning YouTube! Good morning! We are in sunny England. So as we mentioned in our previous video, Olive is broken. To put it bluntly, Olive is broken and we aren't sure whether she can be repaired or not. So we have come to Blackpool to see the coach builders where Olive is at the moment and find out what they think is actually wrong with our bus. Let's find out. Let's find Wish out. Us luck. We've arrived at the coach builders in Blackpool, just behind us here, and it looks pretty closed. Where is Olive? Hashtag, where's Olive? They are open and I can see Olive just around the corner. So let's see what is happening with our bus. Here's Olive. But if you look behind us, She has no floor. Let's show you what's actually going on. So she has no floor. The rust on the little metal bits here have been treated. But the thing that is wrong with her is the floor. And what it's been made of and the stress that's happened over the years of this bus's life. Got something. Are we showing them? Oh, we're showing them! Look at this! What is it, Jen? Let me show you. Let me walk very precariously over our bus. Look at this. Ta-da! Is it open? Okay. It's the wrong way around, but... This is going to be the round window of dreams, right here. It's going to be amazing. Yes, it opens. It's going to be double glazed round window in our bus. Yay! I'm excited. We don't have a floor. We do have a round window. We said when we bought this that we were going to sell what we could. The thing that we have sold is the... Urbis Barsha. Urbis Barsha heater. This is going to Scotland, so we need to take this out and send it all the way to Scotland. We are in Blackpool Design Coach Builders and we have Mike with us and he is going to explain everything that is wrong with Olive. Uh, so Olive has had some tough times. The floor is made of Cromwell, which is stainless steel. So as you can see, it looks like it was put down yesterday, but unfortunately it doesn't. It's not the case. It, as this vehicle has been going down the road, it's been flexing, backwards and forwards, potholes, and it's sheared and snapped the chassis. So, so there's no rust, is there? No rust, that's not the problem. It's the fact that it's just over time, the flexing of it has sheared the metal. So we're going to have to now start welding this back together and putting some extra supports in it so that it has longevity. Okay, and that's the plan? That is the plan. That puts some ply down. Why do we sound like Father Christmas is outside? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Santa, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. That is the plan. To reinforce everything, this we will show you close-ups, but basically all the worlds have cracked. No. No? So the, the metal is sheared because it, it's stainless, so it doesn't flex like okay. mild steel would. So it's sheared literally from the, just, the physical movement of the vehicle over time. It's just worn. So, so it will be welded to be repaired. And obviously, <laughs> when you've got holes like this, everything will be 
But then what we're going to do is going to put some mild steel structural in which can with flex, it, which can flex, which will over time give it more longevity to what it's currently had. Okay, there go. that sounds like a plan. This is what's happened. This is why we're not at Van Life Festival because this van is not even fit to drive at the moment. Oh, um, let's see what we're going to do next. Bye. The first thing we noticed about the floor was actually when we were taking the steps out and the massive wheelchair accessible lift. And this is what we noticed. There was a massive drop here and you can see the difference between this height and this height. And that is actually where it is split and just dropped. So here you can see where the chassis is absolutely broken. And then in a lot of areas, you've got these breaks like this, where the metal has just sheared. And it is all over the van. Here's another one here. And it's all in the area by the two wheels and by the wheel arches. You can see that it's happened on the side there and at the top there. So here's one of the worst ones. You can see that it's completely dropped and then round on this side, all the cracks in the main chassis as well. So looking at this fan, I can probably see about 20 places where the metal is actually sheared and it's completely not safe to drive. So we finished with Olive, we decided it was a beautiful day, let's head to the beach, have some fun, play in the sand and also have a bit of a trip to the arcade. Ring the bell. 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 